Hi friends, it's Jim here. I want to take a second and give you some insights that a few of my greatest customers are using when I'm coaching them in our industry of association management. And, and other industries use this every day and it shocks me that no one uses call centers in association management. In fact, a lot of the customers that I have or potential clients of our consulting practice will tell me that they've got either an automated system answering the phones that they're hoping is saving them some money or they're actually having a live person answer the phone and paying that person a full-time salary just to answer the phones and they actually then transfer the calls to people who can answer the real questions. It's crazy. So let me give you an example of what some of my top clients are doing and what other industries have been doing for decades which is using call centers or a call center functionality to be more profitable and provide better customer service. Let me give an example of what one of our clients does. They actually have a very um, inexpensive person answering the phone calls and they have a standard list or database of frequently asked questions. If the person who calls asks one of these frequently asked questions, the low wage, inexpensive labor person can answer the question perfectly because they've got the data right there in front of them and can fulfill the question of the person calling. Now, if they can't answer the question immediately, they transfer to what's called a tier two or second level of support person. That second level person is more sophisticated in their knowledge of the industry. They may know more about the specific clients and that association and can answer more in depth questions or inquiries. And then there's a third level that if that second person can't answer, they'll actually escalate. This might be to a supervisor or a senior community manager or a director in your organization. And then if that's a really complicated issue that might involve legal situations or the insurance situation or something, it'll go to that tier three level. But it's very, very rare that a caller actually goes from level one to level two to level three. In fact, it's less than probably 5% of the time that third level support ever comes into play. And so what happens is you're providing lower cost solutions for great customer service by having that call center feature started out when people call in with that list of frequently asked questions or database of frequently asked questions and all the answers. And then a second tier if there's a more complicated solution or a more sophisticated answer that's needed. And then again, yeah, third level if it's really cumbersome. This overall will lower your cost of labor while improving your customer service. It's a fantastic way that large companies all over the world have been doing customer service or call center functionality for decades. And it's very inexpensive. In fact, you can do it in-house with your phone system right now or you can either get a phone system um, using a voice over IP system or something similar for probably twenty or fifty dollars a month and even have an ability where when phone pe people phone in they can actually kind of wait in a queue or wait in a line on a, on a phone system while the one person you've got who's taking the live phone calls is finishing up the prior call. Great feature. Let me add another tidbit that's really important to make sure that your call center is scalable and that it really provides value for your customers in addition to just answering those immediate questions. If you log the calls, when people call in, you want to take notes, if you've got a, a system that lets you log homeowner information or caller information, you can put it there. If you don't have any system whatsoever, you can even put it in Outlook Notes or, or Word or something else, but you want to log what the call was about, what the solution was, and then even later you can do things like send customer service satisfaction surveys, you can tell your board members how many phone calls you took for their account this month. It's very, very powerful to take that information and track it. And again, these are very inexpensive ways to add a call center functionality to your organization and a great thing to do to increase customer service. You can win more accounts and have longer term contracts by just adding this simple little feature and beating 90% of the competitors in the industry. So. Take some tips from this site on call centers and functionality, and I'll be back soon with some more tips to help you make more money and work less.